How to position and calibrate the newly received laser machine. Since the laser machine is a high precision equipment, during transportation, the optical device might deviate due to vibrations. So when we get the new machine, the first step before use is calibration. Is the optical path accuracy of this machine the same as when it left the factory? Let's see the actual marking effect without calibration first. How to use the machine's autofocus function. Lift up the positioning rod and pull it out. And then put it down. Now the head of positioning rod is on the surface of the lifting platform. Then press the auto button on the machine. And it starts auto focusing. The lifting platform moves automatically and stops. During this process, it lifts up and down. When the auto focus is completed, it will stop automatically and the focus indicator lights on. This means that the focus is complete. At this time, lift up the positioning rod and push it back. This is black cardboard. It is double-sided black. There are two drawings on each side. There are three cardboards. A total of 12 drawings for calibration and checking the calibration effect. So it's completely enough for use on every black cardboard. There are focusing points. Every two opposite corners of cardboard has a number one corner. There is a small arrow mark. Where should this number one corner be placed? It corresponds to the upper left corner of the lifting platform, which is also the number one corner. Align the number one corners and put the black cardboard on the right place. Tianli invented this focusing method originally. It can help users to confirm whether the optical device deviated when receiving the machine. Now the focusing is finished. Find the number one corners. Align them. And push the cardboard inside flatly. Push it into the upper left corner. Until you can't push anymore. But don't push too hard to wrinkle it. Push it like this and place well. Now let's scroll to the bottom of the machine screen. In the lower right corner is the calibration file. Click on it. This file is for the calibration of the stop blocks. I'll talk about it later. This file is for the calibration of drawing. Deviation test. Look, choose this program. Unit now, the machine opens the drawing interface automatically. We can directly click on the infrared F1 to see if the infrared is roughly in the right position. If yes, we can click mark F2. Why do we mark? What's the principle? Let me tell you about it. Before the machine leaves the factory, it has not been transported. The cardboard was put here to mark. And then the cardboard was put in the package. After transportation, put the same cardboard in the same position. And same procedure to laser on it. If the engraved traces overlap, it means the machine is fine. If not, that means the optical device of the machine is deviated. That's the reason we need to calibrate it. If the traces overlap each other, we can use the machine directly. No need to calibrate. Now let's try to mark and see if the new traces overlap the factory traces. Press mark F2. Okay, mark is completed. Now let's take a look at cardboard and check if there is any deviation in the factory traces. They overlap very well. This means the laser machine on the laser focusing is fine. No need calibration. No need to calibrate as it is normal. If the traces didn't overlap. There are several situations. You can adjust the machine according to the situation you met. If the traces overlap completely. That means the machine is good, normal. It can work directly. When most of the traces overlap well but some edges and corners are not. This might be because we didn't put it properly. Therefore, we can mark another cardboard again or in a different direction. Just do cross validation. When the situation is like this, two drawings didn't completely overlap. 
and there is an obvious deviation. What should we do about it? Don't worry. We can make the traces overlap by our own method. Take out the hexagonal wrench that comes with the machine. Loosen the two stop blocks and four screws on the platform. And then push it to the side a little more. Now, use a black marker to draw a mark on the frame. Darker and darker. Why do we mark it black? Because I will use another drawing to mark it. Laser marks out the positioning line. Back to the previous menu. Find this drawing from locating position. Then we will see an L-shaped line here. Two liters shaped lines. After clicking mark F2, it will mark here. Then we can mark several times. Let's take a look at it closer. There is no other line on the black marking line. Only what I have marked with a pen. Now let me click mark F2. It starts to work. We can see a laser start mark there. Try to mark a few more times and the traces will be very obvious. Now turn on the light inside the laser machine. So that we can see the traces clearer and then align the position. First, align the long stop blocks. Slowly push this stop block over. The edge of the stop block overlaps the machine marked line well. Great, it's almost done now. Then we fixed it with a hand. And tighten the screws. No need to tighten it too much. A little bit of strength is enough. Keep it in place. After fixing it, let's check whether the edge has moved. If not, let's tune this. Same method. After fixing it, let's check again whether the edge has moved. If no deviation, let's take out the cardboard. Now, we should change to another cardboard, because the before one has been damaged and it doesn't look good. Use another black cardboard that doesn't have wrong traces. Then put it on. As the screw has not been tightened yet, let's gently align it to the upper left corner. After aligning, make sure the cardboard is flat. Well, let's change to another drawing at this time. Open the drawing we just used for the deviation test. And click mark F2. After marking, we will see if it is in the right position. If the traces are well aligned. Now we can see. The line on the left overlaps very well. But the line on the right doesn't overlap a little bit. Maybe the stop block has moved too much. Let's just fine-tune the position of stop block. Then, let's change to a new cardboard and try again. It can be very clear after marking a few times. Closer to see, they almost all overlap. If it looks like a shadow or the lines are thickened. That doesn't mean it's not adjusted properly. It means that when we place it, there is slight deviation because we didn't put it properly. But this deviation is completely within the controllable range for lasering the screen or the back cover. So if we can achieve this effect, it's completely okay. As long as the lines can overlap, it means that the tolerance is about 0.05 millimeter. So we don't have to worry about it. This is okay. Actually, I deliberately adjusted it to deviate before, and I correct it now. I just adjusted it twice. So even if there is a deviation, we don't have to worry or be afraid. Very simple and quick to recalibrate its position. Now we can make sure that the calibration is done. Use an inner hexagonal wrench to tighten the stop blocks to avoid any moving. Okay, now you can use the machine normally. The calibration work is completed.